Hi, welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B, and today I'm making the bed that I cleaned in my previous video. I'll leave a link to that video below. And I've done some research on YouTube for other top videos on how to make a bed, and none of them are quite like the way that I do it, so I thought I'd share my methodology with you. So, let's get going. The first tip I wanted to show you is when you're purchasing your fitted sheet, you want to make sure you know how thick your mattress is to make sure that you get sheets with pockets that are deep enough so that you can get the fitted sheet thoroughly and very well underneath the mattress uh, without doing that you run the risk of the fitted sheet falling off in, in the middle of the night. Uh, and then when you're putting on the fitted sheet, make sure that you have your corners lined up with the corner of the mattress. Make sure that it's not crooked. And then just uh, if you need to, you can tuck the sides under if you have a little bit extra. You want to check not only this side, but you also want to check the ends as well as the, the foot of the bed to make sure that it goes all the way down and underneath the mattress. So let's get started on the flat sheet and the blankets. Okay, the first thing that I do is if the bed is up against the wall, I do pull it away from the wall so that I have room to walk all the way around the bed. And as I'm making it, I apologize if I run and walk in front of the camera, uh, that's just so that I can demonstrate how I get the sheets really straight on the bed. In my folding sheets video, which I will have a link below for that video as well, I show that I fold my flat sheet inside out. And the reasoning for that is because when it comes to putting that sheet on, it makes it very, very simple to add it to the mattress or to the bed and get it straight. So the first thing I do is I line the top of the sheet all the way up to the edge of the mattress. Now, the other thing that I do is with this edge of the sheet, you want to try to have it as close to the middle of the mattress as possible. So you do have to eyeball it a little bit. Uh, I have it a little too far to that side of the bed, so I'm going to just scoot it over. And it's so much easier to scoot that over when you have it folded because you just grab the whole sheet at once and give it a little tug. Now, when you get it to where you think you need to have it so that this is in the middle of the mattress, all you'll have to do is unfold the sheet. Come around to the other side. And again, make sure that this is lined up to the top of the mattress. It's a little bit past, so just pull it down. It does take some smoothing. Get all the wrinkles out. And then unfold it this way as well. And you walk around the bed. Rather than trying to reach across the bed, uh, you try to reach across the bed to unfold it. You run the risk of moving your sheet. And you just pull it down so that it's flat. And just do some smoothing to help get some of the wrinkles out. You do one more check up here to make sure that the top of the sheet is lined up with the top of the mattress. And then you also go here to the side and you, you judge whether or not you have the sheet centered from left to right by judging where the sheet hits on the box spring or the mattress below. So when the sheet is in 
at this stage. I will double check the sides. How far it's hanging over on this side versus this side over here. Um, I did a little bit of a measurement and did find this side is a little longer. So I didn't quite get it in the middle. So it does take some adjusting. With practice, you do get better at judging where the middle is and don't have to do so much shifting. Okay. And again, straighten it out. Recheck your overhead. I don't think you can see it in the video, but the sheet has actually shifted like this because I have more hanging over down here than I do up here. So just another slight adjustment to make that even. And let's see here. I just take, I just, the way to tell is I feel. And do, you know, like, kind of a little measurement with my fingers. So I see that it's approximately this far, hanging over the box springs. Come down at this end and do the same type of measurement. And it's pretty straight. Now what I also do then is take this rough measurement and put it on the and take it over to this side. And it's pretty even. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and it's at this point that the other videos will tuck in the sheet at the foot of the bed. However, what I do is I put the blanket on first. So let me grab that. My blankets I fold the same way as I do my sheets. Inside out with the top of the blanket on the outside. The foot of the blanket, which is usually where the tag is, is folded to the inside. So with the blanket, I do the same procedures I do with the flat sheet. The only difference is that I will move the blanket about this far from the top of the bed. So I'll position it. And yeah, it's about six inches. About six to seven inches from the top of the bed. But then I go through the same process of putting the blanket on the bed as I followed with the flat sheet. So let me get that done real quick. Now the blanket's a little easier to judge where the middle of the bed is because there's a line. Makes it a lot easier. And this takes a little bit extra since the blanket's so big. Yeah, a little bit too, yeah, that's good. Okay, so just unfold it this way as well. And what's really nice about this blanket, because it has the lines, you can see, follow this line to make sure that it follows the edge of the bed all the way down. That way you know the blanket's on straight, not crooked or cockeyed. Okay, now that I have the flat sheet and the blanket centered on the bed, and I have the ends untucked, now is the point when I will tuck the ends in. 
And how I do that is I start on this end, pull this side, raise the mattress, sweep my hand underneath. Whoops, I got the bed skirt with it. That's okay. Just because the blanket. Okay. Now, I go over to this side. and tuck it in on this side. Okay, now, come back over to this side that I tucked in first. And I'm trying to make sure that I get this perfectly straight and as tight up against the mattress as I can. To do that, I fold this up as well as the sheet, which I'll do the bed skirt too since it went in. Fold up all the layers and I pull. Okay, yeah, I pull this up this way. Each layer I pull as straight as I can. Make sure that they're all lined up. You get the edges out. Like it's being a little stubborn. Okay. It's because it's out already. Okay. So now. You can see I have all of the edges, all of the ends of each layer are straight, are pulled all the way up so that it's really tight right here. Do that on both sides. So I'll come back over here. And do the same thing. Pull up, pull them up, and tuck. Get it completely straight and flat. Now, before you go any further, you do want to make sure that everything up here is still nice and flat and straight. Now the next step is you take these sheets, is you take the different layers, and in this case I have three. And it's, again, a little more difficult because the size of the blanket. But you take these and you find the corner of the mattress. And you line up the edge of this, the sheet, and the blanket. with the top of the mattress. Then, you only tuck in this part. So you tuck this part in. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So then, if this part gets stuck, just make sure you pull it out. And be sure you get both layers. Then I just leave this like this. I don't tuck this part in because then it puts too much pressure 
across here on your feet when your feet are in and you tend to kick it. Whereas if you leave this out, it gives a little bit more breathing room for your feet and movement room for your feet. So let me get the other side done real quick. Just do the same thing. Find out where the corner of it is. layers Again, you make sure this is straight. You fold down your sheet, and that helps protect the top of the blanket from oils on your face at night. Now I'm just ready for the computer. Let's go ahead and get it on. And this one's reversible, so I can do whichever side I want. We'll go with the green side out. And this looks like it's the wrong. See the way I'm fighting with the comforter, since I don't fold it the same way as my sh sheets, I struggle with it, trying to get it straight. So I'm using the point to point to determine where the middle of the bed is so I can get it on straight. Okay, so now all you have left are the pillows. Now the way that I put the pillowcases on, I figured everybody did it that way. However, my mother's caregiver didn't do it this way, so I figured I would go ahead and include this in, this, in the bed making video. Uh, I always put the solid color on the bottom. If I have, see I have a solid and a striped, so I always put the solid color on the bottom. And easy way to do this is to actually turn the pillowcase inside out and put it on your arms. And you put your hands in the corners of the pillows or the pillowcase. And then you just grab the pillow by the corners and walk your hands up the side of the pillow. makes it very easy. But this is where it's a little different from the way that some people do it. I fold the end over, put the other pillowcase on my hands. I should fold these inside out too so I don't have to worry about turning them right side out. Easiest way is put your hands all the way inside, turn it inside out back up the pillowcase. Okay, so now what I do that's different is the pillow, part of the pillow of the case that was open, I put that on the inside of the top pillowcase. And what that does is two pillowcases give an extra layer of protection to the pillow, but also it gives extra protection to the end so that when you're looking at the pillow you don't see the bare pillow on the end that's opened. 
and then I put the kibble jam on. And sometimes I'll do the same thing, just because it's easier. Take the half of the pillow sham, grab the end of the pillow, walk your hands up the side of the pillow. And then when you get to this side, it just makes it easier to just tuck it in. it a little bit sometimes. This is a little funny shaped, funnier shaped pillow because it's a memory foam. But there you have it. And then I just, of course, put it up here like everyone else and scoot the bed over up against the wall and we're done. Well, there you have it. My favorite way of making a bed. I hope you find this video insightful and helpful. And I hope that you will comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I really enjoy every everyone who watches these. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Angie B with Angie B's House. You have a great day.